Hey, it's Kevin Rudolph. Thanks so much for submitting your questions and a special thanks to Romeo for having me. The first question is from Shelby from Texas. Who's your favorite artist of all time? Uh, I would say the band U2. Uh, I love the way they, um, they feed off each other when they play together as a band. The songwriting is incredible, inspirational, and um, always been inspired by them. Next question, Shel uh, Veronica, um, what is your favorite thing to do on a Saturday? Well, uh, usually my Saturdays are pretty much like any other day because I'm in the studio or I'm traveling or I'm, I'm always writing or, or, you know, just sort of, you know, looking for inspiration. But um, when I have time off, I love to get on a boat or do something with water sports, um, especially living in Miami. There's a lot of that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, on average, how long does it take you to write a song? Let's see. It takes, uh, it takes only a few minutes to get the original inspiration, um, but it actually can take two to three weeks to finish it up as far as the production goes and adding all the additional instruments and kind of making it uh, gel as a song. Who was your favorite to work on you with your new album? Well, I don't have any features on this album so far. We'll see. It's not done yet, but... Um, right now myself. If you weren't a musician, what would you be and why? If I wasn't a musician, um, I would be a tennis player. Uh, I always love the sport and I like it. It's the same sort of thing as being, um, you know, a solo artist where it's you against the world. What is the last album you bought? I bought the last Florida Georgia Line album. Uh, I love country music lately. I think it's just really feel good and it's well produced, great songwriting. And um, so yeah, that's the album. What is one thing you couldn't live without? I couldn't live without my guitar because I write all my songs on my guitar. It's my first instrument. Um, it's my main tool as far as when I get inspired. What is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? Well, uh, I got booed off stage once when we played Madison Square Garden. Um, actually, I didn't get booed off stage. It's a little harsh. But they weren't happy. The Knicks were losing, and I think they kind of took it out on me, so it didn't feel good. What is your biggest goal for 2013? My biggest goal is to finish my album and have it come out and have everybody just love it and relate to it. Who, let's see, what, what's the inspiration when writing Here's to Us? Stephanie from New York. Well, I wanted to write a song that connected everybody in the world. Um, something that just brought everyone together in the, in, in the way that a lot of the great songs that I had grown up listening to did, you know, that really whether we're young or old or black or white or what, whatever country or race or you know anything it just sort of united everybody and connected everybody what is your favorite type of movie I love 80s movies I love Fast Times at Ridgemont High and National Lampoon's Vacation I love all kinds of like you know where it's sort of like a time capsule the 80s and it really takes you somewhere else and you just sort of go into that world for a minute and just feel feels good where is one place you want to perform that you haven't already well uh, I would love to go to Japan and perform there I've never done that and always wanted to go uh, I think the culture is so so far ahead of us and in, in a lot of ways and um, I think there's some real music fans there and I love that they really love music what will your new album sound like? I think it'll sound, um, it'll have the same essence of, of things that I've done in the past, but it will be more sort of stripped down, less produced, less electronic, more, um, I don't want to say acoustic bass, but more organic bass, you know, more, more um, organic as far as acoustic guitars and, and more real instruments on it. What is your main career goal as of right now? Uh, my main career goal is to have continued success and but reach more people and really kind of show people what I'm about as an artist that 
in a way that I don't know if they have seen in the past. Let's see. If you could be up on stage with any artist, who would it be and why? I would go back to you too. I would love to jam with them. I would love to, you know, be one of those stadiums and, and where you just completely, you know, in in your own world with them and, and just really um, just jamming out with them would be so fun. How do you get inspiration to write your songs? Um, I get inspiration from anything. It could be from a book, a movie, a conversation I heard. Um, just just kind of playing around with different sounds and experimenting. Sometimes it's great to take yourself out of what you do and start with a different instrument. So um, it can be from anything. What was your most difficult album to write and finish? I think the most difficult was my first album, but also the easiest in a way. Probably difficult because you are sort of coming from nothing and you don't know what's going to happen with it. If it's going to take you, you know, to where all your dreams come true or nothing will ever happen, it'll sit there in a shelf and, and your life will be the same. But it was also easy in a way because there was no, there was no expectation. I didn't, no one assumed I was anything or thought I was anything. So I was just very free to continue um, doing what I was doing. And that's the phone in the background. Um, how was it like working with Lil Wayne and Birdman? It was really great because uh, they're the home team. It's cash money. If you could only listen to one artist for the rest of your life, who would it be and why? I would say Bob Marley because I never get tired of his songs. There's so much soul. There's so much inspiration in it. Um, just really incredible music. What do, what do you like better, New York or Miami? Um, I love New York on the perfect day and when, you know, it's just like late fall and it's just, it reminds me of my childhood just walking around and there's art and culture and music and so much happening and so much energy to feed off of. But I like Miami because as a home base, it feels really, um, really relaxing just to be there and, and create and look at the ocean and feel the vibes and it's just like I can get inside myself more. Um, what do you enjoy most about performing? Uh, I enjoy when I can really connect with an audience where they're just, you know, you can see it in their eyes, you can see it in their faces and you're, you're moving them and you're connecting with them. What inspired you to get into the music industry? I'd say that I never wanted to do anything else from the time I was 11. I was always playing guitar. I knew I would be in it some way as an artist or in a band or as a writer, or as a producer, and, and I could still continue to do all those things. And I, I just knew that that's what I was going to do from, you know, really early age. How did you feel when Perez Hilton wrote about how inspiring and positive Here's to Us is? I was really thrilled and honored because he has always supported me from Let It Rock and, um, you know, he's got a big, you know, um, big fan base and, and I, I appreciate the support. How does it feel when you hear one of your songs on the radio? It feels incredible. It's the best thing in the world. It's like you feel like you won, like you, you, you know, you're connecting. People are hearing what you're doing. Um, all of your efforts have, you know, turned into something and, and, uh, it's just a really cool feeling of validation. All right, well, thanks again for submitting all your questions. I really enjoyed being here, and thanks again to Romeo.